So it is called a egg bite maker and it's a miniature one. Okay, let's get this puppy open so we can see how it works. I will link this below in the description so you guys can go check it out. Oh wow. Apparently it's four easy steps and it gives you how to instructions. Got a little booklet in here. Oh, with like recipes and stuff. Look how cute. And it's like my favorite color. Turquoise, teal, whatever you want to call this. But it's so miniature. Look how cute it is. Oh gosh. <laughs> Look at this, y'all. Oh, they're like silicone. I don't know anything about this thing. 420 watt, 12 grams of protein per serving. That's what it says in the box. So let's get this hooked up and we are going to test and see what comes out of this egg and I'm gonna make some miniature egg bites with a normal egg if this one doesn't work out. But I'm really curious to see. I've never seen an egg like this before uh, in my life um, and I've never, had an experience with a double yolked egg. We don't know what it looks like inside of here, so let's check it out and see. Okay, usually I'm not a big instruction gal, but I don't wanna burn my house down. So it says not to preheat the egg bite maker because it can decrease the cooking time, but it does say it comes with these little silicone molds, which is for your egg bites, to fill one of these up with water and then put it into the, you pour it, into here, so that's your water. You whisk your eggs, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my normal eggs. I really wanna get these cooked before we crack open that big one. So, this one. I'm so thankful, like now, I used to not eat eggs a lot when I bought them from the store, and now that I feel like my hands work so hard to give me all these eggs, I have eggs every day, just about. So, I'm gonna whisk this up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another egg. I wanna make enough for my husband to be able to try this. Pretty excited about it actually. I need a towel. Before we got chickens, like we'd buy like the smallest container of eggs we could because we didn't use eggs. Like now we're like, oh, let's see what we can make, you know, with our eggs. Um, I'm gonna season it with a little bit of Tony's and then of course salt and pepper. And then I've also got some uh, fresh garden grown tomatoes. I'm gonna sprinkle in there. And then a little bit of cheese, like so. This is so exciting. I'm not a big cook. Usually my husband cooks everything, but this just makes me feel like I'm a little Betty Crocker. Let's read the instructions. So you place the silicone cups, salt in there. Place these. So you place them in there just like this. So the water creates steam so that the eggs are fully cooked uh, all the way through. Fill silicone cups up three fourths of the way with egg mixture and ingredients. Okay. So it says three fourths. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm not good at measuring. I don't know what three fourths mean, but I guess we'll find out. What more cheese? I have a few extra diced tomatoes that I cut up from our garden. I'm just gonna kind of place on top. And then who doesn't love cheese? So then it says, then plug it in. The blue light on the lid of the egg maker will illuminate, indicating the egg bite maker is on. It says the blue light's on, it's cooking them. But don't preheat because Preheating can overcook. So we will come back in seven to 10 minutes and see what they're doing. So while the mini egg bites are cooking, we are going to do a little science experiment. Like I said, normal eggs like half the size. This one's even got like a huge bulge right here. We've only had chickens for what? How, how long have we had chickens? So we've only had chickens for about six months. Um, we are new to it. We've learned so much from it. We've had a lot of good friends and family help us out. So we are like still growing and experiencing like all things chickens. And found this guy, a normal, I mean, it just blows my mind how big this thing is. Let's uh, crack this puppy open and see 
Um, what happens? Because I'm not even sure if you can eat these. Do you want to come in and see this? So I just, I just like, I'm just kind of, a like look at it, it's kind of cute. I mean, it definitely struggled coming out. It looks like you probably started a band there, it was like. Oh my gosh. Oh, double yoker, I knew it. Look at this. That was pretty exciting. So, and I'll probably crumple these eggs up um, we take our leftover eggshells and I'll rinse them out to kind of get all the like sticky, you know, egg whites and throw them out in the yard or even put them in the chicken's feed. It's just really good for them to, it's like vitamins for us, so vitamins for them. So the timer just went off on the egg bites and I'm about to open them and see the results. It gets a little steamy, so uh, use a towel if you want. I'm kind of nervous. I don't know if they're done in the center. Let's see. Mm. I put a little extra too much cheese probably, but it's okay. So this is what they look like before you put them on the plate. Super cute. So, and then you'll just do the rest. Just kind of shake them out. Wow, that worked super quick. It took about eight minutes. Let's get the rest of these on here. Super quick and easy, especially if you get up early or, you know, we get up early, go run, work out, do whatever we gotta do. It's just nice to like be able to pop these in there and, and have them done and ready. But if, even if you're running late, like eight minutes is all it took. Um, I'm gonna do the double yolked egg now. And I added like Italian seasoning, minced onion, extra cheese. But I'm gonna do that one and then we'll check these out while these. So now that the egg bites are done, let's see what the husband and my dog thinks about them. Okay, Ryan, tell me what you think about the egg bites. Good. They're fluffy. Fluffy? Now I'm gonna try one. Mmm. Yep. They're good. We have to let Natty Dog try. Natty Dog? What do you think? Is that good? Give me a shake. Good job. Hey guys, we're back and we are outside today gonna to do a little landscaping. In the back, we got a lot of flagstone laid out and we're digging up some dirt, um, so stay tuned. So we've got all the plastic laid out and our rocks set into place as you can see behind me and we're gonna get some gravel and hopefully it'll bring it all together. We're finally back out here. We got our rock brought in. It's a little muddy from this rain. Um, however, we're gonna get it rinsed off and freshened up and my husband is back here. He's putting in the edging right now so that we can lay our mulch down and trace our porch off. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see how this turns out. We went and picked up mulch today so Let's see how this turns out. And that's our weekend with MBRM Blog. Thank you so much for joining us on this journey. If you don't mind, comment below what you enjoyed best about this video and like and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram.